welcome you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna give people just a few more moments here to chime on in, chime on in. Make sure you like, love, share this experience on today. God bless you guys for coming in. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Listen, we are here in Saginaw, Michigan at our services on today. And we're so super excited. Make sure you let us know where you're tuning in from so that we can make sure to uh, say thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Amen. Sister Jackson is going to have a scripture for us on today. Romans 8, 1-10, I'm going to read about five verses of it. Amen. There is, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walks in after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the, of the spirit of life is Jesus Christ, has made thee free from the law of sin and death. So what the law should not do it is that it was written through the flesh. God sent his son in the likeness of the sinful flesh, and his sin condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. I read it to Romans 1, Romans 8, 1 through 5, and Lord, have need another word for good education of my bad soul and body. So, Father God, we thank you, Lord, <clears throat> for today's service, God. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you, God, for allowing us to, uh, number one, waking us up this morning, for starting us on our way, for putting food on our tables and clothes on our backs. And, Father God, we said that we're grateful. We're grateful and thankful for everything that you have done for us in our lives. Thank you so much, God, for allowing us to... Um, see another brand new day, God. We thank you, God, for doing great things in the midst of great people, God. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for everyone who's coming in right now. God bless you, Minister Shilanda and Minister David for coming in. We thank you, God, for Sister Ruthie right now, God. Father God, we pray right now for healing, miracle, and deliverance to come about in her life right now in the name of Jesus. Sister Barbara, right now, Father God, I pray, Lord, that you continue to bless her, keep her, send healing to her body right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for um, Minister Jackson right now, that Father God, that he'll be able to deliver the word to your people on today. And we are so super excited about it. Father God, continue to bless this house and bless this family. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Uh, well, dear Heavenly Father, here we do come before you gracefully to your throne of grace. Here we ask that you lay your hand upon us. If for any sickness or illnesses that we have inside of our life, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you. Uh, prostrate, being prostrate, asking to heal us from those sicknesses and diseases and, and those things that are afflicting our body, our mind, and our spirit. Heavenly Father, yeah, yeah we do come to you to, to your throne of grace. And we ask that you give us a, a sound mind, a, 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 re, a, a new heart, a, a new set of eyes to see where we're going to in this new season. With the Heavenly Father, yeah, I do also ask that you do, that you do also uh, uh, touch our children and protect them as they go back and forth to school. Heavenly Father, I do ask that you do indeed touch those that, that, that are in need of, of, of jobs or of any type of financial support. Heavenly Father, yeah, I do ask that you do give those who are in need of those uh, uh, who are in struggling positions that they have a sight to see you. And Heavenly Father, yeah, I do uh, uh, also pray for those that, 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 uh, that who are uh, also that, that, that are in, in need. Um, in a, a wonderful name of Jesus, and so I'm saying, Jesus' name we pray. 
and amen. Amen. So we're going to actually start. I want to say praise and worship. As we know, dear to say. testimonial service um now i just want to give my testimony i just i just thank the lord for waking me up this morning for putting me in my right mind and for uh mm -hmm. uh yeah allowing him to bless me throughout this week and the following week to come um yeah i do also uh uh, uh would like to thank the lord for you know everything that he's done for me and and uh he doing uh, still continue to do through me and, and so yeah i do actually thank the lord for 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 a blessing not just me but my my i want to say uh no my uh enemies uh, uh the, the the ones who try to come against me um and for everything else lord yeah i i, I do thank him for all of that <laughs> to the sermon actually had a sermon already wrote out for this particular sunday but however yeah the lord did decided to change my plans and uh he 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 decided he wanted me to go this route and so uh i don't know uh, uh, uh whose season that it is that you are actually going through suffering and so uh i don't know if uh if you you're you're suffering any financial crisis or uh, any, I, I want to say, un, unexpected deaths, or uh, any terminal illnesses, or any job losses, or uh, any uh, tragedy. So I'm going to read a little bit from this uh, uh, before I dive into the 
uh, the the actual sermon. John, it says, yes, yes. So it says, uh, each of us is deeply affected by suffering, uh, both as individuals and, and as communities. When we're stressed and anxiety threatened to overwhelm or when our hearts ache, we often find ourselves wondering, uh, when w will it end? Why me? Or else that why do bad things happen to good people? Mm -hmm. uh, and and it do continue on to say that there are many times that we wonder, plea, or ask for e explanations, and seeking to understand why we suffer and further why God allows suffering to continue in our world. Uh, right, rather these questions come out of faith, pain-filled moans, or frustrated. Or angry screams. We can find source. I said solace. I think that's what the word is. An encouragement for our faith in the biblical story of Job. And to say here, the story of Job exemplifies our struggle to understand the problem of suffering. So Job was upright and, unwa and unwavering in his commitment to God. Yet he loses everything. Yeah his children, his wealth, and eventually his health. For some of us, his experience of suffering uh, resonates profoundly. And so if you are, are actually in the book of Job, uh, go with me to the chapter, uh, Job chapter one. Uh, I, I'm going to read verse one through five. Um, here, and so I, I'm reading for the message translation. And it reads here, it says, Job's, Job was a man who, who lived in us. And it say he, he was honestly, he was honest inside and out. Mm -hmm. A man of his word, who was totally devoted to God and hated evil with, with the passion. And the Bible says that he had seven sons and three daughters. Mm -hmm. And he was also very wealthy. It was mean. In other words, he 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 had money. He he mm -hmm. he, he was rich, mm -hmm. and so seven. He he. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Within his wealthiness, he had seven thousand heads of sheep, mm -hmm. three thousand camels, mm -hmm. five hundred teams of oxen. Mm -hmm. with, uh, which we. Uh, I, I, I'm not going uh, going to that. Uh, five hundred donkeys. Mm -hmm. And a huge staff of servants. Mm -hmm. It said servants, not slaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, so the most influential man in all the East. In uh, verse four, we, and his sons used to take turns hosting parties in their homes. So you know, no, the uh, so you know, Joe had party mansions, and and so his sons do like uh, uh, house parties mm -hmm. for the whole block. And so his son used to take uh, turns hosting parties in their homes, always inviting their three sisters to join them in, in their marrying making. Mm -hmm. And so when the parties were over, Joe would get up early in the morning and sacrifice a burnt offering for each of his children, thinking that maybe one of them sinned by defining God inwardly. So Joe made a habit of his of this sacrificial atonement just in case they sin. And, and so, yeah, we uh, actually see Job. Job was, was, was a man that we know that were rich, but however, he still took precaution in making sure that his, his children was covered. The reason why I wanted to talk about this specific point is because I, I want you to understand how much that he lost. And so, and so he lost all of that wealth that he had. And so, this is for someone you know, who's actually in that season of, of, of suffering where you are, are actually beginning to question God as until why this happened to you. And so, and so some of us uh, may have been the type of person, right, you know, who may, may have been the one doing all the praying and, and doing all the fasting for everyone in the family. And... But however, but however, but but this season you're the one who got caught up in, in the scandal, and so everyone in the church uh, uh, looks at you as if you done robbed the bank or if that you done you done you done killed the president or something, 
and so and so when we go, go into this thing of understanding so may, maybe you're the one the who uh uh, uh may, maybe so use at going to the grocery store and you and, and you and you may be the one counting your uh calories when you're going shopping and so you want to make sure that you don't uh pick up nut uh i i, I want to say nothing that's too sugary or anything of that nature it's because you're trying to stay healthy and so you eat the right foods and so you exercise mm -hmm. yeah but then you go to the doctor and the doctor look at you and tell you you know that you got uh that, that you got high blood pressure or you got diabetes or you got or or for example yeah you never smoked a day in your life but the mm -hmm. doctor tells you, you know that you're the one with lung cancer and so and so so we all been in certain situations where we all all have wanted to ask God, you know, is this this some type of joke? Because, you know, when we when we uh, and so here, Joe was a man uh, of God. And so he was a man who stayed devoted to God. He's a, he is a man. But I made sure that he that that he made the right terms. He 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 went to the church and did gave the right sacrifices and, and and all these things. So he did things right by the book. But then all of a sudden, here he hears the season come into his life where where all that that he done, all of that that he put into, all of that determination that he did has now he felt that it had went to waste, and so. Yeah, and so now we, so I don't know who, who this is for, but the Lord wanted me to, 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 to tell you specifically right now that I know you're suffering. And so, yeah, I know that, that you're going in, in, inside of a time or season where you got your storm, but the Lord wanted me to tell you specifically that, that, that the re reason why I didn't want you to say anything about your suffering because the Lord said, I, I'm going to use your time of suffering to build up your faith. I want to use your time of, 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 of dryness to show you how much, much of food food that I can be into your life. Yeah. And so, and so if there, if there is anybody going through any sickness or, or, or through any uh, 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 illnesses, that I want you to understand that the Lord said, uh, the reason why I'm taking you through this, because I want you to be able to build up your faith in me. And yeah. and so here we are in, in this moment uh, where we feel like we did everything right by the book. Yeah, we always made sure that, that when we went out of dates that we paid, but however, that we still got our heart broken. And so when, when, we, when we go through certain things that we don't understand, why why did, did this thing come out this type of way and so and so yeah you're probably been the wife that been faithful to your husband but however you still found out that he cheated on you oh. and so yeah yeah uh, yeah and so so you may be that husband that that may be devoted to your one wife but you still find out that she still sleeping around with other men and and so and so so i i want to get 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 into this topic and so there's a point in your life where you at now where you're beginning to question god say uh, uh was that uh, uh are you really the the good guy the good God that people say that you are and so here's Joe in this moment where he has where he know he did all that he can do he he and so and so he was so faithful but then he felt at this at this point in time he felt like God has let him down mm. and, and, and so yeah he felt like like the people that 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 was trying to sabotage him was actually winning the battle but 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 however but the but but if you read throughout these chapters you that you understand that the Lord sent him three friends that was there to encourage him throughout this time right. right. and, and, and so without those three friends Joe specifically kept saying the same thing which was oh oh no sir I don't really believe what you're saying to me uh it's because no you don't understand I, I am in the season of suffering and so I don't know if, if you're the person where 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 you got where God have been sending you people telling you that he's going to deliver you out but however you still questioning uh now how can this be true if I am still suffering right now yeah. and so so you and so I, I i want to talk to some people 
yeah, you man, maybe uh, 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 feeling or maybe wondering that why am I going through this? But the Lord want me to tell you specifically that I want you to go through this because I'm I'm, I'm going to build up your faith. Yeah. I'm going to build up your endurance. I'm going to build up your your. No, I'm I, I, I'm trying to add something to your life. Yeah, and so so then the Lord told me to tell you the reason why I want you to go through this because I want to be the one. The uh, would I uh, actually uh, uh, would I, would I actually celebrate with you on your way out? Mm. And so there's a scripture that say that even though I walk through the shadows of the shadows of death, uh, 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 there there's a particular scripture that specifically talk about the shepherd being with his sheep uh, th uh, uh, th throughout the low valleys. And so if you know that scripture, then you know. That, that the shepherd doesn't just walk through the low valleys with them at the beginning or in the middle, but 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 it said that it that the shepherd comes out with them at the very end. Mm. And, and, and so the Lord wants to be able to use this time, your your sickness or, or your downfall. And so the Lord wants to be able to use this to build you up and to encourage you. Yeah. And so when you see people in that 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 is specifically inside the weight room when they go lift weights. They don't go in there uh, uh, already with, with packs of muscles and big and strong, but they go in all puny and weak. And so when they go in, they, they, they go in expecting to lift heavy things. So they go in there to expect to, to lift something yeah, that's what worth, worth, worth some grand weight. And so when you begin to push, you you begin to feel the, the pressure that's coming against you. And so the reason why the pressure is there is because it is there to build up your muscle. And so there are some muscles that, that, that are in your life that the Lord is trying to build up in your life. Yes. And and so and the reason why the Lord wants to build up some muscles into your life is because no, He wants you to have a more more bigger faith. He wants you to yes. have a more stronger heart. He wants you to be to be to to, to be more faithful for Him. Yes. And so and so uh, uh, one of the things I talked about last Sunday as I talked about the stewardship of growth because when the Lord allows you to go through things, He doesn't allow you to go through them. Uh, 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 for no type of reason, and and so in my last time I talked about specifically that the Lord allow us, the the, the Lord want us to grow in things, and so not just because He want us to to grow by ourselves, but He want us to take those things that we learn and share them, or to 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 pour them out into other people, yeah. and so that they can begin to grow as well, and, and so within this season, within your a hardship season that the Lord allowed certain certain things in your life where to to come against you not not be because because the enemy tried to defeat you but the reason why why the the Jesus gave the enemy the permission to attack Joe in the first place is because he knew that he was faithful and so no I need you you so so I need you to to ask yourselves is that is the reason why God put me through this season is because he knows that I'm going to be faithful. Yeah. And, 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 and so is, there, is, is the reason why the Lord allowed me to go through this is because he know I, I'm going to come out on top. Yeah and, yeah, and so normally, as I have said before about the people with the weights, that the people, so you know the people who are strong are, are the people who the one who got the muscles. Yeah. And so, and so the, so the Lord is trying to build up some muscles inside of you. And so, so the Lord, uh, uh, he wanted me to tell you that he is going to walk out this thing with you. And mm. so, and, and so here in Job 42, uh, uh, verse 10 and 11. And so when I read this, this had really shocked me. So verse 10 from verse chapter 42 uh, I want to read from the message translation and it reads and it says that after Job had interceded for his friends. So, so I no, I had paused there because what I just read to you what was after Job had interceded for his friends. And so if you have, have been questioning the Lord as, as for why you've been going through the season you've been going through. 
and the, this verse here explains specifically that the Lord uh, wanted him to go through with it. And the whole reason why he wanted him to go through with it is because he wanted him to be able to pray for his friends. And, and, and the reason why I'm pointing this out because this messed me up because when I'm reading it, it said after Job had a seed for his friends. Mm -hmm. But then again, but you have to think to yourself, wait a minute, wasn't Job the one going through the suffering? <laughs> I was saying, no, I don't want... Now I don't want you to miss that. No, no, I said I said God asking you to do the prayer. But however, you're the one that's suffering. You're the one going through the trials and tribulations. You 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 you're the one that's weak and, and in time of needing to, to be cared for. But then the Lord continually asking you to pour out. And and so I don't know who, who this is for. But, but but however but 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 the Lord want me to tell you that I I, I am going to take you to a new level yeah, and, and, and so you may think you're empty so you may so you may think you're loose you're useless or you may think that you don't have anything to offer but the Lord want me to tell you but but it, it is at this specific time as until why I allow you to go empty is because I got something more to pour into you yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so yeah, uh, yeah, and so yeah, I yeah, I know there's a scripture that yeah that say that, uh, and, and, and so as I do, we we'll continue to read here, and, and it says it said after Joe had interceded for his friends, it said God restored his fortune and then yeah. doubled it. It said all his brothers and sisters and friends came to his house and celebrated, and they told him how sorry they were. And consoled him for all the trouble God had bought him. So each of them bought generous housewarming gifts. And so, as you do see this, yeah, through all this suffering, as I was just re reading the scripture, uh, 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 through all this suffering, uh, God had a reason for your suffering and so the Lord took your suffering and he allowed you to go through it because he's trying to push something greater out of you and so when the Lord finally pushed something greater out of you the other people who you were praying for the other people who you were fasting for the other people who you were interceding for they're also going to be blessed right along with you and, and and so, and, and so, as the scriptures say, Job got got blessed double time. And so, this is time for your season to to be blessed double time. And so, and so, if you have been going through this suffering, then the Lord wants me to tell you, tell you that He is going to deliver you out. That that the Lord said that your suffering will not go in vain. Mm. Yeah, and, mm. yeah, and so mm. that he is going to restore to you what the enemy has stole, and so the my uh, what, what said my Bible said it says that the Lord will restore what the enemy stole from you seven times over. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, and so now nah, I I just want to uh, say oh, yeah. yeah, I just want to, oh, yeah. yeah, I just want the Lord to restore me. You will. You will. Yeah, baby, you'll be all right, man. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. That's right, that's right. Oh, I didn't call you for nothing. Yes. You'll be all right. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. Yes. Hallelujah. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay? Okay. Okay. That the Lord wants to bless you uh, seven times over. Yes. Okay. So I was asking the Lord to bless me seven times over because there are certain seasons that I went through yes. that I didn't even know how the Lord was going to deliver me out. But however, but but I, I'm lucky to stay here today, and to tell you that He has delivered me out. Yes. And, and He bought me out with, with without a scratch. He, he bought me out without uh 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 any, anything, any turmoil, or anything. For for the scripture say that the Lord will never leave me nor forsake me. Yes. 
And so, and so for anyone that's out there that, that you may be going through any suffering or, 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 or any uh, uh, hindrances, uh, uh, please, please understand that, that the reason why you're suffering because the Lord wants to be, be, be able to get the glory out of your suffering. Yeah. And so when the Lord gets the glory out of your suffering, that the Lord isn't going to bless just you, but he's going to bless others that are around you. He's going to bless other people that's connected to you. He's going to bless uh, 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 other people that even talked about you. So the ones who talked about you, they're, they're going to be celebrating right along with you. We're going to speak the sevenfold blessings over the people of God. And because we believe that death and life is in the power of the tongue, we believe in the sevenfold blessings. So for those of you who are around here with me, if you could just raise your hands up. For those of you at home, if you could lift your hands and receive these blessings. Uh, I speak blessings of health to you and your family. Our God, he still is a healer. He said, I was wounded for my transgressions, bruised for the iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon you, and by your stripes you were healed. So we speak healing to you and your family. We speak deliverance from any habits that you may be having in our life. Our God, he is a deliverer. And put your, um, uh, put your hands over your head. I speak blessings of peace to your mind about anybody, anything that may be getting on your nerves or disturbing you today. Yeah. I speak peace. And I speak salvation to any yeah. friend or loved ones that you may be praying for. And just put your hand over your heart. I speak comfort to any person that's hurting, lonely, bereaved, or confused. And uh, we also speak blessings of finances, debt cancellation prosperity, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And lastly, I speak anointing and promotion in your life to complete your assignment and to move forward in your God-given purpose. Uh, by way of announcements, next Sunday, my wife will be um, speaking the word of God. They all in here saying, thank you, Minister Henry. Thank you, Minister Henry, anointed man of God. Thank you. Yeah, they <laughs> yes, awesome word. Um, so for 2023, uh, so next Sunday, my wife is going to be speaking for Christmas Day. So join us next Sunday at 3 p.m. Um, where my wife is going to give the word. We're going to have a special um, Christmas service um, live on Facebook and on YouTube. As well as beginning 2023, we're actually going to start doing service at 10 o'clock in the morning. So my wife was like, awesome word, awesome word. They, you should, it's, yeah, people commenting. So <laughs> it really was a heartfelt message. So next Sunday, 3 o'clock, beginning the first Sunday of January 2023, we're going to start at 10 a.m. And we're going to have services. And we're going to actually be doing service from home. So we're no longer in the church building. We're actually going to be doing services from home in Florida as well. So we're going to put a flyer out there for those who are in the Orlando area. If you want to be able to come and be a part of the service, you will have to register. So we know who's going to come to the house and we'll give you directions because we just don't want to put our address out there like that. So, <laughs> so that's number one. Uh, so next Sunday, 3 p.m., the first Sunday of January, we're going to be doing uh, service at 10 p.m. As well as my wife, uh, I believe she's still going to go live this upcoming Thursday at 8 p.m. Make sure you don't miss that. And... Uh, we haven't been announcing this a lot, but next October, we're doing a family life gather gathering uh, right in Orlando, Florida. So go to our website um, and um, register. We want as many people to come down who can. And we're going to have a whole weekend of not only ministry, but we're also going to have some fun, too. So uh, go to our website, uh, www onetouchministries.net and uh, forward slash FLG 2023 and we'll be able to uh, give you more details about that. We're going to um, end on today uh, with our benediction, Minister Henry. You want to come up and end the service uh, live today with the benediction? I messed up the camera a little bit, but that's all right. I got it straight now. <laughs> May God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you. May God look you full in the face and make you prosper.